Can't be done. Will it be done? That was John Kerry yesterday with the uh, accidental statement, I guess. Joining us now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome you back to the Steve Malsberg Show, is uh, United States Senator John Hoven from the great state of North Dakota, Republican. Hello, Senator. How are you? Good, Steve. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Okay, so the, the latest is, of course, that Syria says... They're ready to uh, dissolve their, um, uh, disclose their uh, weapons, uh, chemical weapons locations, halt production, open facilities. Um, uh, but Putin says that the U.S. must first call off uh, the uh, strike of any kind before a deal could be worked out. Where do you believe we are with this, sir? Well, I don't support a military strike in Syria, and I don't think that Congress does at this point because the American people don't. Right. So. I think we've got to work on this uh, diplomatically in a sensible way, but, but we've got to have an approach where people understand what that approach is, that it's consistent, and where we get our allies and, our, and other countries in the region working with us so we're doing this together in a coherent way with clear objectives. And, and that's what the administration has to do, which they haven't done to this point. Yeah, and, and, and going forward, though, how, how do you uh, believe they should handle it? You know, the United Nations, the president has said they'll work through the United Nations on forming this, uh, this uh, seeing this proposal through, um, but that the, the U.N. just uh, canceled their uh, emergency uh, Syria meeting at the uh, request of, uh, of Russia. Um, it, it just seems, you know, as I've discussed with others today, <laughs> that this is, you know, it's just haphazard and it's, uh, you know, throw your feet, throw the, the papers up in the air and see which way they blow. Well, and, and that's the problem. Again, it's about having a coherent strategy. And, and I have concerns about I think a lot of us do. But what about having a well-thought-out, consistent strategy where we stand with our allies, everybody understands what we're trying to do, we take a tough line with our opponents, and we're consistent and have it well-thought-out rather than this kind of back-and-forth what's going to come up today or what's going to come up tomorrow. And I think that's the problem, and I think that's one well, very clearly at this point are saying, no, don't undertake a military strike. Work this thing through with our allies and other countries and have a coherent strategy. And uh, that's what the administration has got to do, and they haven't done it. Well, what do you expect from the president tonight? I mean, I, I, I expect him to well, say that if it weren't for me threatening to use force, this possible option or this possible way out would never have come to fruition. I think he'll claim credit. Yeah, I, I think that that's right. And, uh, you know, I, yes, I would expect you'll say that. But what he needs to do now is follow through and, again, work with other countries to make sure that we uh, push to get Syria to, to give up uh, chemical weapons. I think there's a lot we can do in terms of sanctions. But I think that, you know, he's going to continue to build the case for a military strike. And I just don't think the American people or Congress are going to agree to a unilateral uh, strike on Syria by the United States, in essence, going it alone. Now, so, Senator, before when you, we heard there was a beep when you said you don't trust or have trouble trusting Russia, you said. Is that what you said? Well, I think we obviously have to be very careful with uh, Russia and uh, with Putin. Um, now, look, if they're going to work with us and others, to, uh, in essence, get Syria to give up its chemical weapons in some verifiable way. Obviously, we should do that, but I think we have to be very careful about uh, Russia and exactly what their motives are and, and how we go about this. Right. Now, I don't want to strike. I, I don't think we have any business in Syria, but having said that,